Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. My name is Samantha Gilmore and you've reached my channel more with Gilmore. Do me a favor, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that we, you stay in the loop because I have some really cool things coming up and I wanna make sure that you're the first to know about it. But for today, I wanna speak to my sellers. You know, you may be going through a job change or you know, you've outgrown your home and you've decided to put your house on the market. What does that process look like? How, how, Sam, what do I do? Let me help you. Let me help you. Everything's going to be okay. We're going to take a big, deep breath and we're going to let it out because that in itself can be stressful. The first thing that you want to do when you've decided to put your house on the market is you want to declutter and you want to depersonalize. You want the buyer to be able to envision living in the space. And if they see your beautiful faces on the wall, that's going to be hard for them to do. So we're going to go generic, but not like Holiday Inn generic, but generic. You can always reach out to a local home stager to help guide you through that process. They're going to be able to advise you on paint colors, you know, whether or not you paint the kitchen cabinets or not, how to place your furniture that is most appealing and what flows the best. Sometimes when we live in the house, we get convoluted and forget or don't realize that something should be moved or whatever. We're comfortable with how it is, right? Um, the next thing that you want to do is if you have any sort of small problem or anything like that, fix it. If you have a leaky faucet, fix it. Get it out of the way because when home inspections come along, that is going to be one less thing on your ticket um, and it's going to make the transaction smoother. Um, then you want to get hooked up with a really great agent, somebody that hears you and that's willing to listen and they know their marketing. They know the market that they're, that they're going after. Um, so you seek a local professional to help guide you through that process. The biggest thing that I can say, if I were to tell, tell a seller anything, please, Hire a professional photographer. I don't care if you pay for it or your real estate agent pays for it. Hire a professional photographer. The first place that people go when they go house hunting is realtor.com or Zillow, which means it's going to be images of your space that they see first. And you want to make sure that they are spot on, that it is perfection. So please hire a professional photographer. Don't stress. Remember to breathe in and breathe out and sell, sell, sell. I'll talk to you guys soon.